What's up, YouTube? It's Mike, Sticks and Seams. Hope everybody's doing well out there. It's going to be a VR from my boy Jason, Mr. Fisherbike. He's asked us to show off 10 of our favorite vintage cards. Don't necessarily have to be the most valuable, um, just ones that either mean something to us or you just like the design of the card. So uh, I pieced together some of my paltry vintage collection, but I do seem to choose nice ones anyway, at least in my opinion. This first one is from 1941 Playball. I love this set. Love the colors. This is of Indian Bob Johnson. I just really um, appreciate the uh, artistry of these cards from 41. I think 40 was black and white. So, let's see. Then we got uh, another 49 Bowman. This is of rookie card i believe of gene hermansky had the pleasure of meeting him um, through my work some years back now and talking baseball with him a uh, really great guy i would find myself sitting with him and then just discussing old uh teams and players and whatnot his uh most feared player to play defense against was stan musual he said when Stan made contact with the ball, it just sounded different than everybody else. That was quote-unquote, so got to believe him. Um, this next one is probably my favorite vintage card I own, and it came by way of James Elite Hunters. This is a 1938 Gowdy Heads Up rookie card of Bobby Door. I would love to get this at least slabbed up. You know, authentic or a one, whatever. I just really like the the card. And uh, it's cool that it's tied to a fellow YouTube member. So, again, thanks, James. This is uh, 1934 Gowdy. And this is of Chuck Klein. Really cool cards. I like Gowdies. And um, can't go wrong with a Hall of Famer. I was finding myself kind of picking up some of the uh, cheaper... Hall of Famers in some of those older sets, and then the you know the wheels fell off of that. But I'm glad I got what I got while I had the chance. Uh, next one is arguably my favorite set, um, and that's you know for me with my limited knowledge. There are some other sets out that are really cool, but um, this is from 1935. It's the Diamond Stars. I just love the design and the colors on them. This is of Lloyd Wayner, Little Poison to uh, Big Poison. And, uh, you know, he was pretty good himself. He's a Hall of Famer. You know, 316 career baron average and uh, 2,400 and change for hits. But uh, what makes this card cool is just the colors and the pose. Love that card. That was one when I finally, when I actually came across it, I knew I had to get it. And uh, not wasting any time, I'm going to hop into Big Poison. This is a 33 Gowdy. I believe it's his rookie card. I could be completely mistaken there. But, uh, you know, Paul Wayner was a beast, three-time batting champion for the Pirates. Uh, Hall of Famer, obviously, 3,100 and change hits. I believe he was a 333 career batting average. So, uh, this is, I just love the image on this card. And mine, obviously, is stained. But um, it, these are just really coolly designed cards. So, love that one. You know, I saw an interesting statistic the other day that... Had Ty Cobb finished his career zero for his next, like, thousand-something, couple thousand at-bats, he still would have been a 300 career hitter, and then insane. <laughs> um, and I know somebody out there, most of you probably know the exact number, it just slips my mind at the moment. Uh, this was a pickup last year that I just really love. It's from 1925 Turf Cigarettes, which was a... British release. It was all athletes that had like pugilists and so on and so forth. And there was one baseball one, number 50 in the set. And it is credited to be George Sisler because he is on the front. And uh, just sort of love the image. I can't, that thing is so awesome. So, really cool card there. I got this at a huge show down in Tampa. I wish they still did it, but they don't. Collector Con, and some of you were probably there with me when I purchased this. 39 Playball, Mel Ott. A uh, beautiful example. It's a two. I don't really see much about wrong with the, cor the card, except for maybe the corners. But um, that was the consensus when we looked at it, when I got it. But uh, I just really love this image, and I'm psyched to have a Mel Ott card, you know. 
Uh, two more here. I'll do this one. Uh, one of my favorite vintage sets, uh, 51 Tops Redbacks. This is uh, Monty Irving rookie. Just really cool cards. I like the whole aesthetic of the playing card look and such. So, And I think Blake Jameson redid that set most recently in like a Tops exclusive. They had a Griffey that I picked up, which was cool. And the last one is a 1941 play ball of Jimmy Fox. When I decided I wanted to get some vintage cards, I always knew I wanted to get a Jimmy Fox and a Red Sox, so this was the one that I chose. I would love the heads up, but, you know, this one was more in my price range. Again, love the colors, the design, the artistry of the cards. is really cool, and I got me a Jimmy Fox, so there you go, Jay. Um, those are my favorite vintage cards in my collection so if you haven't responded to jay and you feel like it get out there and get it done um cool contest really cool just looking through the old cards and uh until next time collect what you love